Hey guys, what's up? Toy House here with another video, and today I want to talk about five effortless gold making secrets in TBC Classic. And so, guys, I was just, you know, opening my mailbox the last few days, and I noticed, wow, like each time I open it, it's like 200 gold. I'm like making all of this gold, and it's really effortless. Like, there's no grindiness, there's no pushing for making gold. It just keeps coming in like really easily. So, I want to share with you five ways that I've been making gold extremely effortlessly so that you can copy this and do this for your realm or do it on my realm. Happy to share my secrets with you. So with that said, guys, if you uh, learn anything from this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you want more World of Warcraft content, don't forget to subscribe. With that said, let's begin. All right, let's start with number one, Booty Bay is an amazing place to make some very easy gold. So I actually have a tune just parked right here near the mailbox. From here, I'm going to show you where you can go and buy some recipes that you can then throw on the auction house. And guys, like I'm not even understating anything. They are selling like hotcakes, like just nonstop. I list it. I have to go buy more because they're just, they keep selling and it's selling for a good amount of gold. So first up here is Zarina Cromwind. We're going to buy the Moonsteel Broadsword. This is, um, basically used to create uh, a Moonsteel Broadsword, uh, which is needed for a quest in Dust Swallow Marsh. Uh, from that weird hermit guy um, It's been selling like crazy for about 10 gold. I like to buy all of these because they sell believe it or not And then also the accurate scope for uh, market value for gold 56 silver. You can get this for 20 silver This guy doesn't sell anything, but I like popping by just to check um, And repair superior bowyer nothing there, um, but here is really where things get interesting now, if you go to the second page of Kelsey Yance, if you've seen like my fishing uh, guide, uh, Filet of Redgill is a, a must in order to level your cooking alongside fishing. So <laughs> these have been selling for like anywhere from like, yeah, 14 to like 20 gold. So definitely get some of that. Hot smoked bass selling for 20 gold. Easy. Glossy mite fish. Dude, I, I keep selling these like crazy. I don't even know why. It, you don't need it to level anything. Granted, okay, you get like 10 stamina. But they're they're selling so much, you, you got to keep stock. Um, these other recipes, uh, I don't get a crazy amount of sales. I think the Giant Clam Scorchio, though, or Scorcho, is really good. This one sells. Get 8 stamina in spirit for 15 minutes. It's been selling. This other stuff also doesn't sell for very much. I don't really buy it. But Filet of Red Gill, Hot Smoked Bass cooked glossy mite fish and giant clam scorcho you cannot go wrong with those recipes and they're in unlimited stock maybe people don't know where to get it maybe people are too lazy to go to booty bay and purchase it i don't know what i do know is that you can go park an alt here in booty bay it's not too hard to get there if you're horde it's super easy just run down to ratchet take the boat if you're uh, alliance a little harder i don't know get a summon but anyways these are the recipes you should look for. Mail them over to your banking uh, character or whatever alt you use to list auction house items uh, and just park your tune. Um, for me, um, this is super easy. I got this guy who's kind of the right level for this area anyways. Um, but you could easily make a level one. So go ahead and do that. And uh, that is this method that I highly recommend you uh, try to emulate and make tons of gold. All right, let's talk about number two. All right, number two is going to be Gadget Zan and Silithus. And now while we're doing this, I got to tell you guys a story. We're using the Gnomish Transporter really quick to get to Gadget Zan really quickly. If you're a Gnomish Engineer, you can utilize this. Um, so I highly recommend that. If you're a Mage, you can also teleport to Theramore if you're Alliance. Um, number of different ways to get there. Anyways, got to tell you guys a quick story. Do you guys know what a Bang Bang is? A bang bang is when you literally go to one restaurant and then after you eat there, you then eat at another restaurant. That is called a bang bang. And what we're basically doing is bang bang. Um, so we're going to hit up Gadget Zan first and then we're going to go over to Silithus. But while we're here, I want to show you guys Philosopher's Stone. This is a uh, seven gold. You can get this for 76 silver. Recommend buying it. Sells like crazy. Transmute iron to gold. Um, transmute mithril to true silver. Eh, profits are much less there, but still might as well do it. And then here we go, transmute arcanite. Uh, highly recommend that one. This one sells for about 12 gold. Philosopher's Stone, uh, this sells quite frequently. I'm going to buy two just so I save myself a trip. Um, I do check these other vendors for limited supply recipes. Soul Pouch uh, does sell kind of slow though, but I will pick it up 
um, because it does sell. Easy Throw Dynamite, that is 14 gold. You get it for 47 silver. That sells pretty quickly, so highly recommend picking that up. Um, let's check some other vendors here. I'm pretty sure there's only one more, and that's the blacksmithing guy over here. Crinkle Good Steel. This guy sells like gold and scale coif. Oh, he doesn't have it. Um, but that's that's pretty much it for um, Gadget Zan. Now, what we do now is easily go on over to Silithus, where we're going to get, in my opinion, some of the best possible scenario and hold Silithus, the best possible. Um, items honestly it, it, each each one of these has been basically selling for 20 gold so uh i'm gonna we're, we're gonna skip this flight to save you some time and uh, i will talk to you soon when we arrive all right and we're back we have landed in scenario hold silithus and now what we're gonna do is run down to the inn because on the second floor of the inn there's actually some really interesting stuff going on up there not what you think not what you think um so actually we can this is actually a good place to buy some meat actually people do buy roasted quail so buy some of that um and then go upstairs to pick up some enchanting stuff so you can see here we have uh kania or kania however her name's pronounced so this is crazy this stuff like guys lesser mana oil this sells so frequently i don't even know what's going on like every, there, a day doesn't go by where i don't sell lesser mana oil so i'm gonna buy like four of these because it's like a gold each you sell them for 12 gold uh wizard oil same thing you buy it for two gold sell it for 22 let's buy like three of those but this is the big seller guys this is what i feel like contributes to that like 200 gold a day i was talking about just basically passive gold flying in this, this sells for 30 gold you buy it for two like i don't i don't know it's crazy enchanted rune cloth bag um, maybe it's used to level uh, tailoring. If you saw my other tailoring guide, I don't include it, but you could probably use. I mean, it's a 20 slot bag. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to buy like five of these. This These sell like crazy, guys. I highly recommend you pick these up. It's two gold and it sells for 30 and they sell very frequently. Um, now this don't buy because this requires reputation to learn. So don't buy it. Uh, and same with this one. These these sell somewhat infrequently. I wouldn't recommend buying any copper rods. Uh, these go really fast, so I usually just buy it. I mean, obviously, you could sell it for a profit. Not not huge profit, but... Oh, and by the way, Simple Wood. I don't know if I've, like, cornered the market on Simple Wood, on Benediction, but, like, no one else is selling Simple Wood. And, like, I, every, like, I log on and I just see, like like 50 gold worth of simple wood sold like i sell i put like one up it's one gold per simple wood dude you buy them for 36 copper and people buy them like crazy for a gold just one one gold per wood dude, it's crazy it's crazy no one else is selling it it's awesome um these uh also sell not as much i mean it's a 10 times your investment you know for for silver you make 40 uh same here it's 40 silver um this does not really sell. Um, Enchanted Mave Weech Pouch doesn't really sell. Yeah, that's, I mean, you could sell it. It's just the profits aren't great. Um, but guys, these are the big ones. These are the big ones right here. Not not this one, these three. Uh, your Lesser Mana Oil, your Wizard Oil, and your, the really the big ones, the Enchanted Rune Cloth Bag, because you can't get this, uh, you know, I mean, maybe you can get it elsewhere, but it's rarer. You can only get it from Kenny as far as I know. Uh, and it sells really, really well. Also, pick up a bunch of simple wood and throw it on the auction house, guys. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by those results. And with that, we, uh, that is number two, and we're going to move on to number three. All right, we are moving on to number three, and number three is Hellfire Peninsula Vendors. Now, believe it or not, there are a bunch of uh, recipes. Well, I'm sure you can believe it based off what you just saw, but uh, if you go over to the innkeeper, we've got the Ravager Dog. You can buy this for two gold, sell it for 10, so I'm going to pick that up. I actually just realized that I am a cook and I haven't learned it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and learn that myself. Um, this one sells very frequently, so highly recommend. Uh, to be honest, uh, smoked Talbuck venison also sells, but if you look at the market value, um, it doesn't make sense to buy it. Five times, uh, five times, what eight is? Um, that's forty. So that's you, 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 you. If you sold it at that the market price, it's a loss. So don't, don't, uh, don't try that. Unfortunately, I don't know how the price got there, but don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, now, to be honest, guys, I have tried buying, I think, one of these, which has a pretty good resell. This one, like Thick Amber, 
buy it for two gold, sell it for 11. I don't think it's sold yet. So still experimenting with these gems. I wouldn't recommend it personally. Um, maybe, maybe it works on your server. Um, I think I did actually also try these designs. Um, again, I don't think it worked. Uh, so don't worry about this vendor. You can try it on your server though, because I mean, if you look at the market values, um, like, you know, buy it for six, sell it for 74. Um, this one, buy it for six, sell it for 72. Wow. Look at this one. Um, buy it for f like five, sell it for 114. Um, I might, I might, you know what? I might try it and I'll let you guys know in a follow-up video. Subscribe to, to see the follow-up video on whether or not these sold and, uh, you're gonna, you're not gonna want to miss it. I'm going for the ones with the big profit. Inventory is full. Uh, let's get rid of some of these noggin foggers. I don't know why I bought so much noggin fogger. I was just really having fun with it. Well, because druids, you can you can be a skeleton and in sh in shape shifted as a skeleton, so that's why I did it. Um, yeah. Okay. So I bought a bunch of those. Um, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that follow up video. All right. Now there's also some other recipes that you're gonna want to get while you're here in Hellfire Peninsula. Over here in Honor Hold, if you're Horde, sorry, um, there's probably equivalent vendors, though, that you can go to. Um, we've got some limited supply recipes. Now, to be honest, guys, these have sold, uh, so I would recommend uh, going ahead and um, purchasing these. So these Ultra Spectropic Detection Goggles um, allows you to see nearby gas clouds on the minimap. This is uh, moat farming, right? Um, so these are important. I highly recommend you buy them. And then this, there's really no profit. I think I did sell it but again it's like only a gold profit so don't really recommend it not necessary uh the profit's pretty low on these guys you don't really have to buy it so i'm actually not because my inventory is pretty full but that is the uh the the main uh vendors i've discovered at hellfire peninsula there's probably more but i just want to share with you guys what's worked for me and now we are going to take a short but very important flight over to the other town and the other town for alliance is called um temple of telhamat for horde it's this one over here falcon watch and what we're looking for is um we can take a look at the first aid uh supplies you could actually also um shoot i think there's also a cook i will get back to you on that one but uh temple of telhamat has some really good items and i will continue when we arrive see you soon all right, guys, so here is the master cookbook. It looks like U.S. market value is about uh, 3 gold, 38 silver. You purchase it for 2 gold from either Thralmar or Honor Hold from the cooking supplies vendor. So it is not one that I recommend. It's not one that I've done either. So um, that's, that's, uh, that's a follow-up from what I was just talking about. Now, what I do recommend, however, now that we've arrived in the Temple of Tel Hamat, uh, we're going to look for really just one recipe, and then we can check on uh, the other one that... Uh, Potentially could have some uh, profit, but here we're going to go to uh, Vodsin, and he hopefully has it. Here we go, the Ruined Adamantite Rod. Now, this you can purchase for 9 gold and 50 silver, and it sells for 25 gold and 50 silver. So this one I've been selling, and again, this is another one that sells like hotcakes, because this is a rod that is needed in order to do some Outlands enchanting. You need to have um, this Ruined Adamantite Rod. Um, so... There you go. It's It's been selling like crazy, so highly recommend you pick that up. I'm sure the Horde at Falcon Watch have an equivalent vendor. Uh, and then if you go over to Burko, the medic, I just want to check really quick, but I'm not hopeful. So here, okay, we have a very slight profit, 4 gold, 75 for first aid doctor in the house. I probably wouldn't buy it. Uh, and these also, this looks like a loss, and this one, um, yeah, it's a little bit profitable, but I, I personally don't do it. Maybe you'll find success with it. Maybe it's different on your server. Um, but those are the Hellfire Peninsula recipes that I highly recommend you check out and make some very easy gold off of. All right, guys, welcome to number four. So we are now in Shadow Moon Valley. If you are Alliance, we are in the Wild Hammer Stronghold, and we are looking for the plans uh lesser ward of shielding so if you look here it is uh selling for about six gold and this market value is actually 50 gold i'm gonna grab it before this guy does um yeah eternium rod also uh looks like the market value is pretty terrible right now buy it for 12 sell for seven i don't believe that uh i mean i don't know how that happened but i'm gonna try selling it for more than that uh, I know Eternium Rod is definitely going to be valuable for enchanters, so I'm just going to try buying this and see if we can sell it for a profit. These are limited supply recipes, so I imagine that um, the price would be rather high. Uh, so if you didn't know about these two in Shadow Moon Valley, I highly recommend you check those out. We are going to take a short flight over to the Sanctum of the Stars, and once we get there, I'm going to show you some tailoring recipes that also will sell quite well. 
All right, welcome back. We're still on number four here in Shadow Moon Valley, and we are now in the Sanctum of the Stars. Here we have the pattern imbued nether weave robe, which is part of, if you saw my last video, the tailoring guide to level up your tailoring, and of course the imbued nether weave tunic. These are both recipes that are needed in order to, well, not needed, but typically guides, including my own, recommend uh, making these in order to get your. Um, tailoring to max. Now if you look at these, uh, you can actually see uh, you buy them for about 5 gold, 70 silver each. This one's selling for 40 gold, this one is selling for 30 gold. So this is crazy huge profit available for you guys. Um, highly recommend you pick those up and sell them. They are, uh, I mean this is honestly easy gold. I mean you just bought it for 5 gold, you're gonna sell it for 50. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so that's uh, Shadow Moon Valley for you. Hope you guys learned something from number 4. All right, guys, we're on to number five, and this is uh, one of my favorites, so I hope you enjoy it as well. So this is, uh, we're now in Zangar Marsh, and we are in Ourobor Arborage, or Harborage, I don't really know how to say it. But um, we're looking at Doba, the uh, vendor of cooking supplies, and uh, Doba sells some really interesting things. And the reason I like Doba a lot is because he is part of the Kurinai, as you can see in the bottom right there. Kura and I. Um, this is a reputation uh, that is for Alliance, again, but um, they don't start out friendly. You can't actually talk to the Kura and I until you have reached a uh, higher reputation with them. So this is already gated behind reputation. And if you look at some of these recipes, um, you don't have to have the Kura and I reputation in order to learn them. So this means that for people who uh, don't have the rep, maybe they skip doing quests or they just you know don't have the rep for whatever reason, this is going to be increasingly valuable for them. So even, if, even though it's not a limited supply recipe, you can already see some scarcity there. Now, black and trout in particular is one of the main recipes that I recommend in my fishing and cooking guide to uh, start cooking with uh, because it requires cooking 300 and you can just start um, basically cranking out those blackened trout. It's also the fish that you're going to catch the most of while in Zangar Marsh uh, and so on. So the value is clearly there. I'm going to buy like five of these because I imagine these are going to be great sellers. You can see you can get it for two gold and sell it for 11 gold, 29 silver, who knows, maybe even more. And then we have the Fell Tail Delight. This is uh, another great recipe that ties perfectly with fishing and cooking together. Uh, a gold 80 for this in market value is 10 gold and 66 silver. I'm going to buy five of those. And so these two recipes are definitely going to be going up, um, are definitely going to be valuable as you continue to, um, as, as World of Warcraft continues. And I highly recommend you purchase these for some great profit. All right, guys, and the other vendor that you need to check out while you're at the Orbor Harborage for number five is Muheru the Weaver. Again, this you're, this guy, you're going to have to have at least uh, like friendly reputation with the Kurinai in order to start talking to them. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Muheru the Weaver is going to sell two recipes. And finally, it happened. I stopped at a vendor and someone actually bought the limited supply recipe. I was like, I can't believe all these are here, but finally we found one. Um, the imbued nether weave boots and the imbued ne nether weave legs. These are two uh, tailoring recipes um, that can be used. Looks like this guy maybe was looking for it. Um, two level tailoring. Uh, also, it looks like it's just selling. The profit doesn't look great on paper here, but I mean, it's something. And I, I'm actually interested to go run another TSM scan and up update these market value prices, see what it's actually going for now. Uh, it's limited supply. So so I imagine the value is good there, um, especially since the imbued nether weave leggings weren't here. I imagine the price is probably pretty decent on some of these. All right, so here I want to take a look at the uh, sales for the last 14 days on TSM. So this is my ledger, and we're sorting by uh, the items that sold for the most uh, descending. So we can see here a BOE green sold for the most here for our 67 gold. Uh, definitely BOE greens are selling for a ton right now. Uh, disenchanting is uh, level item level or dependent so if people are trying to level disenchanting they need a lot of greens they have to be at a certain level um if they want to disenchant it so uh definitely boe greens are going for quite a bit right now here's the formula rune adamantite rod that i actually just purchased uh you see it sold for 28 gold you can get it for uh, from a vendor for two gold 50 silver so that's literally selling it for almost 10 times as much actually more than 10 times uh, as much 
than you bought it for. Uh, this is just a BOE blue. Recipe Filet of Red Gill. This is not even a limited supply recipe. You can buy as many of these as you want for 1 gold, 60 silver. Looks like I sold it for 20 gold, 53 silver. So just made 19 gold extremely easily. Uh, recipe Hot Smoked Bass sold for 20 gold. You can buy that for a gold, 60. Again, another ruined adamantite rod for 17 gold. And this is what is shocking to me. It's just cooked glossy mite fish just keeps selling over and over. Like... It's in crazy demand right now. Um, so again, not even in limited supply quantities. You can just buy it for a gold 60 silver and then sell. I sold it for 16 gold three times now. So I just keep buying them and relisting them. It's super easy for me to get them. Uh, pattern Enchanted Rune Cloth Bag. I should probably go pick some more of these up. I think my inventory is actually low, but you can get this in Silithus. Uh, selling for 14 gold each. You can buy it for about two gold. So crazy profits there. Transmute Arcanite. You can get this in Gadget Zan. Uh, I think it might be limited supply, which would explain, you know, why people buy it. But it looks like uh, I sold it for about 11 gold. Formula Lesser Mana Oil. This is just constantly selling. And then you can get it from a vendor for 95 silver and it's selling for 11 gold. You can get them all over the place. Like, you can buy these from any enchanting supplies vendor. Another ruined adamantite rod sold for 11 gold. Uh, and then... Um, schematic ultra spectropic detection goggles uh this i bought for two gold sold for nine about ten gold you can get this in hellfire peninsula um honor hold if you are alliance or the horde town which i forget the name of in hellfire peninsula probably you can get this from the engineering supplies vendor um plans moonsteel moonsteel broadsword sold for nine gold this is again in booty bay you can get this for about 11 silver i think or something like that and i sold it for about 10 gold imbued another weave bag selling as well lots of moonsteel broadswords actually all selling for nine gold uh master first aid doctor in the house you can get this from any uh i believe uh yes the second town in hellfire peninsula so uh the northwest alliance town or the southwest horde town so the blood elf or Drenai towns um you can you can buy this book there and you can sell it so i bought it for a gold 25 sold it for eight gold pretty easy lots of lesser mana oil so so guys these are all recipes you can just buy from vendors and easily list it back on the auction house and make profit super easily adamantite plate bracers just you can buy this from a blacksmithing supplies vendor, uh, I think in Zangar Marsh, super easy. Um, so anyways, this is a rune thread, look at this. I sold a rune thread for six gold uh, and 63 silver. You can buy this from a vendor for 47 silver. All right, so guys, ven vendor items are super easy. As you can see, just it, it, doesn't, it does not end. Put an alt in Exodar in Silver Moon City, buy those jewel crafting recipes and just list them on the auction house. Uh, tender wolf steak, you can buy that as well. There's just, it goes on and on. All of the recipes that you can buy from vendors, list them on the auction house and make a bunch of money by literally doing almost nothing. And I would dare say this is probably some of the fastest gold that you can make on World of Warcraft that I know of. That's it, guys, for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. If you want more World of Warcraft content, don't forget to subscribe. My name's Toy House, and I will see you in the next video.